almost homemade. I promised yesterday I was gonna tell you all my secrets. So here we go. We've got an apple pie and we've got a raspberry pie. I've taken them out of the foil pan. I placed them in a Pyrex dish that I had sprayed with Baker's Joy. Uh, I cut the small portion out of the tops of each one into which we're going to place some sugar in one and a combination of brown sugar and some spices in the other. Uh, I've used um, a little brown, about a, four tablespoons of brown sugar, and I've put a little allspice, a little cinnamon, uh, just a tad of nutmeg. So here we go. We're just gonna sprinkle that in the hole and get it as much right there because it's all gonna spread out when it cooks. You can sprinkle a little bit over the top but I think it's only gonna take about three tablespoons. You never know, so just, there you go. And then for the razzleberry, we're going to put the same thing. We're gonna put, I have four tablespoons of sugar. Those berries probably will take a little more sugar than the apple anyway, so I'm gonna put all four tablespoons in the razzleberry. And I kinda of take it and shake it a little bit, and it helps the sugar to all get down in that crack. Don't worry about this sugar on the top because that's going to be uh, yummy in your pie, on your pie crust anyway, mixed with that butter. Then I have all the butter kind of sliced up here in little pieces. And we're just going to put that right on top of that brown sugar cinnamon mixture and just, just put it up there. doesn't matter. You can put as little or as much, but the more butter, the better. My mother always said that. So there you go. This is probably at this point about two tablespoons, maybe three. So if I was cooking a pie, I'd cover the entire top. So let's put a little more. So I think we have about three tablespoons of butter on that, that apple. So here we go. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the raspberry. I'm just putting it right here on the top of where I cut the circle out. I'm gonna get this in here. You're gonna, they're gonna think your grandmother made this pie. It's gonna be so incredible. All that juice is gonna run all down in the sides. Just kinda of make sure it's right in the center because it's gonna, that juice will run down in the edges, but no worries, it's gonna be great. Alrighty, so we got that there. It looks like a little skull piece, doesn't it? Okay, well, whatever. So I put that right back on top and I'm going to put uh, just a, a little bit of sugar on the top. I have it off the excess right here, so I'll just take that off. Sprinkle that around. And here is the top of the apple. I'm gonna replace that. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It's gonna crack up a little bit, but it's okay. It's gonna look homemade. Don't worry about it. So this is a little half and half, and I'm gonna brush the top of that pie with a little half and half. That's gonna make a gorgeous crust. Um, and I know it looks a little strange, but just trust me, it's gonna be good. And so here we go, we got that a little bit. Now we're gonna do the same for the raspberry. Um, and I've got my oven set at 375. The box says 400. I think that's a little too hot for a frozen uh, thick pie. So if you wanna set yours for 400, go ahead, but I did mine for 375. If you have a digital oven, you could inch that up to maybe 375. 80 or 385. So, how easy was that? I mean, you can do this. So get busy. Go to Kroger. They're on sale this week. Uh, go early because they'll replenish the, the, the things. Happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you and your family have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.